Looks like they built the city deep and high. Are all those walls around the city supposed to protect it from their Tiba attacks? The walls don't seem to be as reinforced as well as they should be. Most likely, there will be a protocol to rescue everyone. It'll be a big project. But the only way it'll be possible to contact the colony will be to finish the mission. I hope that day comes soon. Adam, why are the streets so empty? Is everyone hiding because of us? We have a situation here. A situation? You'll see when you get to the presence chamber. Almost there. Hey, Rael, it's been a while. Looks like you brought guests. Very important guests. 
Can you open the door? Go. Oracle is waiting for you. See you soon, Rael. Keen eye. That's right. The presence chamber is where memories are stored. The memories of those who couldn't make it back to Mother's Sphere. Over here. Oh. I see we have guests. Welcome. Let me start the introductions. This is Zion's prophet, Oracle. I'm Airborne Squad Member Eve. My name's Lily. Pleased to meet you. Adam has told me all about you. You defeated an Alpha Nativa. Could you show me anything it might have dropped? Here. Oh, it's an Alpha Core. Please, a moment. Your objective is to rid the world of the Elder Natiba, the leader of all other Natibas. Well, then I suppose you're trying to use the Alpha Core as a key to open the way forward to the nest. Is that right? How did you know that? Unfortunately, the nest cannot be opened with the Alpha Core alone. What? No way! But is... is there really no other way to reach the nest? By fusing four Alpha Cores together, you create something called a Master Core. Only with the Master Core will you be able to reach the very deepest corner of the nest. How... How do you know all this? Thanks to my personal link to the facility on the surface, I can search anywhere and everywhere on Earth. All I require is the right amount of energy. That would also mean you'd be able to track down the Alpha Nativa. That's enough for introductions. Adam, please insert the hypercell. Hey, here. Hyperdrive, the source of all of Zion's energy. Eve, hey, the hypercell you brought will bring light to Zion. Here, try putting the hypercell in here.
Is this some kind of graveyard? No. The people here are in a deep sleep due to energy depletion. Carrying on this way, it can only bring darkness. Dave, please help us. Thanks to the hypercell Eve acquired, they're safe. For the time being. I'm glad I was able to do something of significance. Do we need more hypercells? If the citizens ever want to wake up? Yes. We need three more hypercells if we ever want to fully rebuild Zion. Let's go back to Oracle and you can hear the rest of the story. Ma, outsiders, thank you for your hard work. Thanks to you, the lives of tens of thousands of people have been extended. And my personal link is also stabilizing. That's great news! Does that mean we can figure out the location of the Alpha Nativa now? All the Elder's energy is still being directed at maintaining the Cradle. Who... who are you? Oh, this here is Man, a Sentinel Commander. He also serves as Oracle's bodyguard. <laughs> My skills are still limited, shall we say. So I am not yet able to reach new areas. However, with the power of more hypercells, I'm certain I can track the location of the Alpha Nativa. That's why I'll have to ask you for a little more help. Altus Lavoir, a place out in the wasteland, a ruin of the past. Can we count on you to retrieve another hypercell from there? Eve, I'm sure it'll be of help. Yes. We have no other choice. Adam, Lily, I'll be counting on you. It won't be easy. Make sure to be well prepared. Now that we're outside. <laughs> Things can get pretty intense in the presence chamber. Yeah, that scary looking guy wouldn't stop staring at me. I know he doesn't look it, but he's friendlier than you'd think. I have to finish the maintenance on the tetrapod before we leave. Ava, can I ask you for a favor? I ordered a propulsion control board from a parts store called Sister's Junk. Can you go pick up the order and meet me back at the safe house? Feel free to look around the city while you do. Okay. I'm going to borrow Adam's workshop for a bit. I want to tinker with the drone. All right. Let's all finish what we have to do and meet back at the tetrapod.
You looking for sisters, John? Keep going down this road till you see the stairs on the right. Anyways, it's been a while since I've seen an angel. Forgive me. I was wrong. It is all my fault. the angel. Don't bother me. Mind your own business. Identify yourself. Wait. I'm an airborne squad member from the colony. Huh. So you're an angel. What brings you here? Looking for a tour? I was curious about the song coming from inside. I heard the Prophet gave you permission to enter the city, but that doesn't mean you can go around as you please. Of course, those who've lived in the comfort of the colony don't know anything. I don't mean any harm. I apologize if I've caused you trouble. And you, you okay? Uh, there was a time when this bar used to be full of people. Now it's just so empty, empty and dark. And Enya, same story. I wonder how long she can keep singing with her body in the state it's in. Huh. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. It's pointless. I'm trying to be sensitive, but if you need help, we might be able to fix her. After all, we do have engineering support from the Airborne Squad. What? Is that so? But I... I have no way to repay you. No, I don't need anything. I don't need any kind of incentive to save someone. All right. In that case, could you help me? Hey. What? Yeah. I guess you're not gonna help. No, ignore me. 
Tetsu, I have a question about Anya's condition. What? Shouldn't Zion's engineers be able to do something to help her? They can't. I heard they're lacking in just about everything they need. Technology, funds, basic resources. Attempting anything is only going to make things harder for them. Okay. I'll relay this to our engineer right away. Angel, you're not allowed to use the Exile's Passage without permission. Even if it's you, I can't give you special treatment. I don't want to be disturbed when I take a walk. Angel, lovely to meet you. You... You don't seem very likable. <laughs> All right, you're pretty sharp. I've heard it before. Folks often compare me to a snake. 
I'm Roxanne. Consider me a kind of info dealer. Info dealer? Yes. Practical things. Gossip, blackmail, fears, weaknesses. I dabble in a bit of everything. Oh, I do like this, Angel. You really are my favorite customer. <laughs> so you're leaving? I had a good time. I wonder if our customer is as satisfied as I am. Let's leave it at that. Goodbye. <laughs> Roxanne. Angel, thank you so much for bringing a little bit of light into this dark alleyway. I didn't come here for your compliments. <laughs> Very scary. What is it? Information is gold, silver, and jewels. Take a look around. For a cutie like you, I'm willing to go beyond my reach to get what you want. That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> I guess jokes aren't really your forte. Ta-ta. You're the angel, the one that I've been hearing about. I'm sorry, I didn't recognize you. Oh, well, you don't have to be sorry. Yes. 
Have you had a look around? Perhaps our offerings weren't as impressive compared to what you must have seen in the colony? No, that's not true. Bye now. You must be the angel. Sorry, but can you spare a moment? What's going on? I normally wouldn't get a stranger involved in Sentinel's business, but I'm worried about my comrades and I can't afford to send a search party. What happened? As you know, Natibas are unpredictable creatures. Finding a new variant is not even a big deal, as long as we can handle it. This particular new variant recently appeared in the Wasteland, so we've been keeping an eye on it. But one of my scout teams has not returned to Zion yet. A new variant, you say? Yes, a formidable monster. Its entire neck and shoulders had evolved into a weapon. I'll send you the coordinates. There's an abandoned oil storage facility in a remote corner of the Wasteland. The scout team was guarding the area. So, you want me to find those sentinels? Yes. Thank you. Sorry if I offended you, Angel. I wasn't asking for an apology. I just wanted to know why you said that. What is this place? This is my shop, Gwen Hair Salon. I'm Kasim, the hairstylist. Hair. I style your hair so you feel better and confident. Your hair looks great. It's full of potential. But that potential is hidden at the moment. That's why I said it is dull. Is that so? Are you saying you can make my hair less dull? Of course. But I don't have the proper tools with me right now. Those so-called scavengers stole them. I can't run a business without my tools. But then they probably just threw them away. Those tools would be useless to them. Thrown away? Where? Things like that usually end up in the landfill and the wasteland. 
Okay. I can look for them. In return, you will style my hair. Sounds good to me. I'm missing three items. Scissors, hair dryer, and hair straightener. Understood. I'll be waiting here, Angel. This facility is in need of repairs. Anyway, it should be useful in understanding the current status of the city. It seems as though I'll have to investigate. So, why refuse to go to the cradle? The input unit is down by the elevator to the presence chamber. The cat exists on Earth. In Zion. The cradle? It's through the presence chamber, right? like this. Oh, the body cell is turned off. This is my client's husband. There's no love lost between him, Orkul, and the cradle. This facility is in need of repairs. Anyway. It's my client's black cat, but now it's a cold, dead body. What do I do? Too easy. Hmm. 
Hmm. Retro. But... Roxanne. Angel, thank you so much for bringing a little bit- I didn't come here. <laughs> So you're leaving? I had a good time. I wonder if our customer... Let's leave. Angel, you'll need useful information in order to operate outside of Zion. Did you know that there is an information dealer in the city? I think it'll be worth it for you to meet that person, despite their character. Good to see you, Angel. Hello, Roxanne. I much prefer you to the beggars in Zion. You're far prettier. Yes? What's going on? It's been fun, Angel. See you later. Bye-bye. All right. Stay safe.